this is this would be 23 uh, F Vegas and now we're just going to pull the guard on the dart scheme and this is an odd scheme this would be a 3-4 scheme and, and this is another reason why we go rip wing so we got him to handle the overhang like we talked about so you got the H to block the overhang right here so he blocked the overhang he gets inside there he's got man on there I will right, we'll look at the end zone for the line blocking. Let's just look at the perimeter first. He's got that guy cut off. He's got him cut off. Quarterback sprints. Remember, I said something about now the quarterback. Now the quarterback only has to deal with this guy. If this guy would have been on the line and he'd been coming, then the quarterback, if he'd been coming real flat, he could have pulled it and kept running, and we'd still have a nice play. But they're they're in some type of three deep or whatever, and he's playing zone. So when the F-back goes in motion, the tackle blocks. He's got an odd call. He's blocking there. And now the quarterback sprints. He can just get a little shuffle. We've got a nice little play going. Well, let's just look at it from the end zone so we can study it a little bit better. Now, we do a bad job on the combo block. I, I'll be, you know, I just wanted to make sure you saw the action. It looks like we gave up some penetration here right there. Yeah, by the center. They do a good job. They get penetration. On the combo block, the center don't get over enough, and we give up a little penetration on the guards pu pulling. He just he kind of stabs it, probably saves us there. But we had to get a little ground up, and that's not what we want to do. We'd like to keep that guy on his grass. And he is a shade. That makes it tougher on the odd. But point is, is that wasn't good. Now, we, we decided, I guess, to, that ball game, we decided to base reach it, I guess. You know, you can pass center to base reach it. I said that is basically game plan. But you got you got numbers. You got the ball given to the to the F back in space. And you got a nice little run. All right, this is one at two lane playing army. And we came out and we went ahead and played them and we ran this play out of the boundary. So we put our Y in the boundary and we went rip wing and ran the same play I just talked about. Now we're going to run a different reverse. We're going to run 25 Y Vegas and we're going to pull two. And remember I said something about this formation creates this guy getting upfield. That's a good job by that guard. Uh, See, so got you call. That's a good job by that guard coming in here and gutting this guy right here because we got that secured. We got and the beautiful thing about it, we got all the levels blocked. We got the Y, I mean the H blocking inside, man on. He's blocking man on. We got him blocked, and now we got a lineman coming for him. And then we got a combo block to that linebacker there. And then we got the F back securing the, securing the edge, blocking the C gap. And then we got the shuffle right there, so we should have a nice play here. And we do. We got a nice big play, big game for us. So let's look at it from the end zone. All right, so they came out, they came out in an even scheme. So the center would have made an even call. And he's going to make a U call to the guard, so he's going to block back. These guys here, the, the left guard, Jerry Godfrey and uh, this is Corey Sewell, they're going to combo block the three to the backside backer and protect the A-gap. So they're going to they're gonna basically post drive this three to the backside backer, just like we talked about. Gamella, Michael Gamella, is going to pull the right, the right guard with the U-call, and he's going to get a good log here, and he cuts. And then we got Bernard Robinson's going to pull the backside tackle, come all the way around, and he's going to get on the horn. This is our tailback. He's going to block the C-gap area. It's our F-back. So he got his hat inside, got a C-gap cut off, got, got the handoff protected nicely. Uh, we got no penetration. We, we post drive the three. He goes underneath. Uh, looks like uh, Godfrey picks him up. Now the tackle's going to climb. Wall the linebacker. Right to, don't let him, Corey, don't let him cross your face. That's a mistake that we make. We let him cross your face. Bernard comes out. Now, I don't know why, and, and I'll be honest with you, as a rule, oh, I know what happened. 
Bernard, for some reason, he's pulling around his eyes a ribbon on this backer right here, and he cracks his backer. And, and really, there's no reason for this. This Y is wrong. He needs to stay on this guy, and our tackle stays on the first backer play side. And that kind of confused Bernard. But Bernard, you know, he got a chance to play in the National Football League, a good athlete. He adjusts. He just misses the block. But that's where the confusion was on the perimeter. The, the, why I shouldn't do that? All he's got to do is stay on his rule. First man inside, on to inside, block him. Bernard comes all around. He knows he's got that guy. That's who he's riveted his eyes on.